You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. While you're saying that, the principal is right there. Like, listen, I went in a restricted area. Why not? What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Oh dear. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now uh... I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. Oh, yes. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. I oh, got... and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I guess so, but uh, as I was going to say, uh, there was a little bit of a lag. I think you might have seen that. Yeah, like a little stutter. So, like, frames per second seem to be a bit funny. Oh, oh, oh. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Okay. Also, the training dummy is still available. How nice to see you, my young friend. Uh... As soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. That's nice. So, she wants to meet me outside the castle. The world map. In in the nicest way, I don't want to seem picky, but I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Yes, yes I am. I want to fly! Mr. Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I... okay, it's... I can't do much when all this lagging keeps happening. I'm very concerned. Okay, it's run! Oh shit. Okay. Like I said, my guy runs like he's got a purpose. Oh my days. Please don't do that. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here, what is this? It's the class. I'll go to class because, to be quite honest, I want to get my classes done because I want to get to the point of where I can fly. Br what the hell? Alright, calm down, calm down. You're all the. 
all this strange little lag. I'm getting a little bit concerned at this point. Oh, who fixed that? There we go. Not a chance. I told you last time. <laughs> right, let's go. I want to do that, um... Uh, go to... Okay. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I really am... Really nervous about this lag because... Actually, I feel like it's, um... What's the word? I feel like it's because I am recording. And, like, I'm trying to make the game visually reasonable for you guys so you can see it because... Obviously, it's a brand new... Okay, will you stop shouting over me? Wow! Oh, inappropriate. Oh, okay. What is this? That's a nice tree. It's like a cherry blossom. Okay. You can't... Please don't speak to me. Uh... Okay. Oh, Venus flytrap. Well, good different. morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Uh, oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, that's a, sh that's um, a teacher. Uh, a little treat for your auntie. She looks younger than half the shoes. Oh, hello. Class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Oh, yeah. We do look forward to growing together. Why, thank you. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Uh... Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Firm tug. Oh dear. Quickly! Place your bag right in the new port and cut down the soil! Yes. Okay. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Uh... Repero! I was gonna say, did I'm you I'm very that? sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> that was my class. Rip now a poor innocent our next creature. Task, we'll be oh. planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. Potter! I wonder if oh, it's not. like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, 
They will take time to grow. Okay, why? Let's see how to balance my star disarrangement. Mithla's fancy. Dittany's restorative properties make it oh. a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, okay. as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ready in nine minutes. Okay, Sam, happy day. So. Oh, right, so that really helps. Okay, so I get to learn. Well oh. done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited what? to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Right. Um. Okay. Hello. Oh, Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Gosh. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Griffins. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Yes. You are petty griffins. You disgust me. I'm nice joking. work in defense against the dark arts, by the oh, way. Shush. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Well, he has oh. nothing on me. That's why. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few. Now, see that dummy? Just pop the cabbage at it. And they'll do the rest. Okay, so what... Okay. What am I doing? Wait, equipped it. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their... ...mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some Go in her garden that. last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Okay. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. I guess. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, uh, bye. Can I pick them up again? Oh, okay. Collect. I, I'm gonna take everything I possibly can because I feel like it's gonna come in handy. Everything's gonna come in handy. What else is here? Okay. Time for me to run back. Is he? Is he ahead of me? That will not be it. Ooh, what's that? Damn it! It's a wall. Oh. Oh wow. Oh my. Oh, I'm going to look rather I dashing. A reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh, don't care much for plants, honestly. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. She's not wrong. <sighs> well, I suppose that's everything. 
Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. If I was record, you oh yeah, you're probably wondering, guys, why I'm not showing my face. There's a reason why. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new. Cause I look like a. Damned hearing. Shut up, you! You get out of the way, peasants. Sorry, um, as I was saying, you know, um, mainly because I think it just blocks the fucking screen too much. Some games, I get it, you know, scary games, you want to see my response to uh, a little bit of a jump scare. That's fine. But uh, when it comes to games like this, I feel like it's more easy for you guys to enjoy the actual visuals of the game. Professor Black was terrible. When it's not jumping different frames per fucking second. Or whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay, here we go. We got one here. I just want to uh, attend potion class. Oh, for the love of... How many potion... Not potion. How many classes do I have to go to? Oh, my days. What the... F no! Stop glitching! This Lady needs to stop. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Okay. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Oh my days, here we go. Ow. What? What is this? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Oh, fuck. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and you will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brought Fucking a Wigan Weld kisser. Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Now this will actually be in ha This will be handy. It sound I get to make health potions. That will really be come in handy. I'm not gonna lie. Just bash whatever. Use in there. a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Two drops. Two more drops. Oh, three drops. Oh, oh, be generous. Oh, oh, it's going to be good soup. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is going to be delicious. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Oh, voila. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Challenge accepted. <laughs> you dead. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. You dare to challenge me. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Weasley. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. 
Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I can get you the feather. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Now, he's a Weasley. A Weasley is supposed to be good, but to be quite honest, I'm not going to put myself in the shit for you. No. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Do you not understand what I mean? When I say no, I mean no. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. I'm going to keep my eye on him. Remember, precision is key when brewing Okay, I think I'm not supposed to be reading that. Oh shit. Oh shit. I shit myself that I was like, oh no. What's this? Is there a feather in it? There is. Oh wow, yeah, he's not gonna notice that's missing. A big giant purple ass flower. Not flower, feather. Your potion not stations idea. organized and free. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Right. Have patience and be thorough. Let's do this. Hmm. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it! Not again! Oh! Now! Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Ha 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 ha! That's what you get. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. He I saw confess me. I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Mm. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay. Now, please. Oh, I beg of you. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration. Let me fly on a fucking bro uh, uh, on a broom. On a broom. indeed, your field guide. Do you think I care for what you have to say? That is a no. Right, what do I have to do? Now how the fuck am I getting all the way there? Oh, I don't want to. Fuck it out. What's that? Oh shit. Oh shit. Da -da. Game's going on me. I hope the game does not pull on me. Something in there. I just... Yes, it's called your imagination running wild and curiosity getting the better of you. Oh shit. I'm getting really nervous right now. Yes! 
shut up! Oh, there we go. Sorry. Wait a second. Revelio. What are you looking at? What are you- What the fuck? Okay, nah, nah, now I know it's not my computer. The game is a bit... Yeah. Yeah. Or it might actually be my computer struggling to fucking play this game because it is a very, very big fucking game. Quidditch! No, it's not Quidditch. I think Quidditch... As I said, I'm not... I'm, I never really grew up playing... Not playing. Well, uh, watching Harry Potter. Last time I checked, uh, shit, did I? Yeah, last time I checked, Harry, not Harry Potter, um, Quidditch is a game where you're on brooms, you've got to catch, like, a ball and throw it through a hoop, but there's, like, a gold thing you can catch. Last time I checked. What the hell is it called again? Oh, I can remember hearing about it. It's a gold, um, like a gold thing that flies around and... If you grab that and catch it, you win the game, I think. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Because I honestly have no idea. There's not that much I know about Harry Potter. Wow, I can... Uh, guys, I am really sorry. The game's getting really laggy. Oh. Uh... The thing is, I'm thinking in my head, and I don't want to say it, but I feel like if it's because I'm recording it, it's ruining the experience for me, and I feel like it's pointless for you guys to watch it. So it's like, I want to play the game in my own time and enjoy it without having to record it. I'm not going to lie, I do. But it, it's something I thought would be nice to just record and experience together for the first time. But, um, it's really difficult because I don't like to record gameplay if it's really bad. Like, I tried with, um, what was it, with, uh, oh, what was it, Cyberpunk. And I heard Cyberpunk is a hell of a lot more better now on PC and that, and it's supposed to be better. Oh, wow, okay. Got some crystals. Or Moonstone. That's what you want to call it. But yeah, um, I tried playing it, but it was too far too buggy. And I was like, I recorded about maybe 20 minutes. And I was like, I can't post this. People will be looking at it going, what the fuck is that? No, I think my computer, I think I got a reasonable computer. I got an Alienware. That's what I use. I use Alienware. And I'm going to be getting a new one soon. Once I get the chance, I'm hoping. This year I am getting a brand new tower. Getting a new Alienware tower. Oh shit. You dare to define me! Levioso. Where are I? Oh, 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 you're a student. Sorry. I, I. Sorry. What the fuck is that? Oh, wow. Oh shit, I didn't realize how big the. Uh, this is Scotland, isn't it? It's based in Scotland. Wow. So I could actually fly up onto the mountains on a broom. That's what I've been told. That like you can fly anywhere. But it's uh It's just annoying. I want to fly on a broom now. It's like how long do I have to wait? I get it, it's you know, it's progress and that, but wouldn't you think when it comes to uh uh what was it say? Is it? Is that a fucking chicken? What's in here? What is this place? Oh wow! Wait a second, I recognise this place. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that I have never watched Harry Potter. I think when I was younger, I may have watched a few things of it. Not much. I can't remember, like, when I was really young. Isn't this, uh, Hagrid's house? Like, the big guy? Yeah, cause I, yeah, there's the bridge. Because I, I never watched all of them. I think I watched... This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, what was it? Um... 
the first one, I, what, I think when I was really young, I think like maybe one of my family members were watching it and I saw, I, I sat and watched like maybe about half an hour of it. I can't remember, I was really young at the time. I've seen clips and that, a lot of clips because it's a popular movie, obviously. The whole series is quite popular, but I've never... Oh. Just mushrooms. What is that? Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Oh, yes. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather I am well, trip to Hogsmeade. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh... I promise I wouldn't tell anyone, but I feel like I can trust her, and I can't. I feel like I can trust her. Out of everyone, I can trust her the most. I reckon, because she seems like a trustful person. Yeah, they want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, uh, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To what? all of us. Which is why oh. I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some no of wrong. Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Oh, no, 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 Be nah. on your gut. Nah, no, no, I feel like I made a mistake. I think I shouldn't I have said it. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's Ooh. going on here? Uh, I, I'll get to that in a minute. Now, I just, right now, after hearing what she just said, uh -huh, yeah, I don't, ah, God. I fucking hope I haven't put her in harm's way, like, I feel kind of bad, like, if anything happens to her, you know, just, like, I just don't know, like, what like, are you up to now? But, Mummy, Archie, I don't have time to argue, I've told you repeatedly not to stray oh far God. from home especially when i'm inside with your little sister oh shut up oh dear oh, that's enough i'm too Shit. tired for your stories today you stay right here where i can see potato you. potato why don't you do oh that's a that nice hmm? oh dear oh shit the realisticness of the 
water. They must have come this way. Think! What is I've this? no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. So I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! When chickens are on top of the fucking leaves! There we go. That was great. I enjoyed that. Ho ho ho! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. And I watched the frame rate fucking drop. <laughs> Sorry, my dear. You uh... What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Um, it may be my fault. Sorry. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Hmm. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures. Merlin. These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Okay. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll give that a try. That'll, that'll I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Let's now, see notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, ah, whoa. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I'm sending Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. That's pretty obvious, my dear. Whoa. Oh, 
shit, that looks nice. Oh, this, how beautiful. Nice. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Revelio. Oh, it's just a... Oh, I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My really? guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You too, my dear. And that do was... be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Okay. Well, that was that was actually really interesting. I like that. I like stuff like that. What is a uh, you know little 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 secret puzzles. What's wrong with this person? They look sad as hell. Teach you for some assistance. What is this? Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness, yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Huh? Might you be the one to help me? And uh, underwater sounds like fun. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. What? Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I have to think about this. I should I know this. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I... I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. I didn't know... It sounds you as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. You go under the water. Okay, I'm gonna swim faster. Okay. You can't dive. Okay, it's over here. But you can't even go under the water. That's what I noticed. Okay. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay. A lot of scarves. Okay. I might actually be able to sell them. I don't know if you can actually sell 
cloven. It'll be interesting though. Right, okay. Well, it's got to be this one then, obviously. It's always the last one. I have found it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Wait. One of them things that move around you spin. In the nicest way, there's fucking loads in Hogwarts. Just go get one of them and there you go, you got one. Uh, at least I got some health potions out of it. That's a good deed done. I might be in Slytherin, but I don't need to be completely evil. I don't know what I don't want to be evil. Be terribly difficult. Well, what do you think, Sherlock? I'm fucking soaking. <laughs> Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, and it's yours for a <laughs> I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me, and for my family. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I get a mask. Wait. How many new cloven items have I got? Okay, let's have a look. Um... Oh shit. That's interesting. Oh, I got a new gloves on now. Okay, okay. What the fuck? Uh no, I, I don't wanna look I want this is the one thing right I don't like about some games, right? You get like stuff like, you know, armor or clothing, what's better? than others, but you have to look like an idiot. Yeah. Right, so... Does it do any difference? It looks nicer though. I like that. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I like that. I might as well keep it because it gives me some sort of uh Yeah go on then. That's alright. Let's have a look here. What what have we got in here? Like I wanna know what this is. Okay. Right, now I'm I'm learning. I thought they were pajamas. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I honestly thought they were pajamas. I should investigate. Investigate. What is it that we are investigating? Ooh, what's down here? I should at least explore a little bit. I say, oh, oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I can imagine that was a bit of a... I mean, I don't know what fall damage is like in this game, but we'll find out. Uh, it's not too... Is that? Um. Revelio. Okay, so we have something here which looks like. Okay, so. Akio. Akio. Bomb. Levioso. Oh no, wait. Here. Shit, hang on. What the fuck is and then maybe
I might be right. I I don't know. Am I wrong? <laughs> Do I have to put it back in there again? I'm getting really confused. Um. I have no idea. Uh, yeah. It's getting quite late, actually. I forgot there's a... Uh, isn't there, like, a... Uh, you can't stay out at a certain time? <gasps> Let's dive! I go right on there. The actual seabed. Oh, a new outfit. That's cool. It'd be cool if you could scale the walls like in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, listen, right, before anyone says anything, you want to know which one my favourite, uh, my, my favourite Assassin's Creed, I do love the first one, the first one was brilliant. I, I think it's quite, I don't know, I think I just really enjoy that one. It's very sentimental to me, as you would say, because it was, yeah, it's the first yeah. Assassin's that I ever played, and it was the moment I played it, and I was just blown away, it was breathtaking. What the hell? Come on, kid. Damn, you are fucking far too damn out of shape. What the hell's over here? We got leaves. Uh, what? What the? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Oh, I can't wait till I can fly Could it around. Be a Merlin trial. Okay, let's do this again. Rebellion. Okay, there's a big ass ball down there. I've done it, but there's. Wait a second, is that for Akio? I think that's too heavy to move. Levioso. Yeah, no, it's too heavy for me to move. Um, I believe I might have to get a bit stronger before I can do much. Ooh, the famous bridge. Wait. Oh, what's this? Akio. <laughs> and I can jump off it. Yay. Wait, I recognize this area, yeah. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh wait, so that area down there is It is! It's Hagrid's house. As I said, I know only a couple of things. I know a few things. I'm not completely non-informational as you would say sorry I'm trying to eat uh, I thought it was broken then I was trying to get a bit of chocolate you found is it missing or something it is safe to speak um, Scrope? Who is Scrope? Hmm. We may need to be careful. Wait, what the fuck? I said owl! Woo hoo! <laughs> Sorry. Revelio! Oh no, that, not that yet. What the fuck? How do I... 
Give me the fucking... What can I climb up there? Oh, 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 yeah. That explains. Okay. I'm on top of there. Collect. Almost there. Head for the pumpkins just down. Pumpkins? Ah, I think I know just the place. Hagrid! 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 Oh, shit! That's not bad, actually. I thought I'd get some serious fall damage. Again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. Rebellion. Oh, it's in there. The young. Meets the water. By the. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. I think it might be. I've actually. I think I might have let on. It is probably a uh, trick. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I can handle some reasonable fall damage. I'll just jump down. It's fine. But I know it's gonna be a trap. There's no way this is not the trap. Okay, I'm. I'm not gonna fucking attempt to. Oh, 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 oh! No, it's all right. I'm sound. Damn, that was it's pretty high as well. I could, I could probably completely run off that end. Yeah. Uh, it's lagging again. What the <coughs> fuck Thank is you that? for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Of course, what can I do for you? Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, May she rest in peace. Uh, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honour her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hang on, let, one second, one second. Is this, is this guy, or whatever it is, asking me to go back down there again? Okay. Um... It seems this may help us both, and um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast, and place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. Oh, 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 right, Scrub I, uh... will wait right here for you. I thought, Best of luck finding your pages. Yeah, yeah, the ring. I just want to be able to fly on a fucking broom. That's all I want to do. We saw there wasn't a, a trap. Oh, sweet Jesus, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Oh my days! Woo! Woo!
shit. Ha 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 ha! Oh 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 oh! Let me answer. Okay, now these things are brutal. <laughs> oh, you mother! Incendio. Bernie, Bernie. Okay, so there we go. I got a tongue. I'm so fucking happy I got a tongue. That twat didn't tell me anything about that, did he? I'm guessing he forgot to uh, explain that part. Ooh. I've leveled up to eight. I haven't even noticed, to be quite honest. I haven't even paid attention to my le- No, 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 no. I thought the game was about to break then. No! Right, let me save again. Well, I haven't saved for a while, so... And I have progressed quite a bit. So... See how many hours I've done now. I've done more than four hours. I've done like seven hours so far. Okay, let's go. I guess I can't really progress unless I do this mission anyways. Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Toast. I guess they like toast. Okay, hang on. At this point, I'm actually starting to think of leaving it here, guys. Because we've done quite quite a reasonable good length of time now. What time was it? Yeah, yeah. Good solid. Right. Guys, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Are you guys having a good one? Lots of love. Don't forget to subscribe. Honestly, really appreciate that. If you can, hit that bell notification. Thumbs up. The whole works if you can. If not, don't worry about it. As long as I made your day by enjoying this gameplay. So yeah, have a great day. Bye bye.